Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Nimbatus with me, Alathrix, and of course, welcome to a bit of a weird one. Now, this video may be a bit shorter than the others, because honestly, it's quite a simple concept. We just want to get working in the video, and it's a concept I have now seen several images of, which definitely works. So, the idea today is we're going to try and build a walker, either a simple little walker with only two legs, which I think may be the most difficult, or a ground vehicle with walking legs rather than wheels. This was a very heavily requested concept after I built the land vehicle many, many episodes ago, and now I just want to see if we can get it to work. So, the main thing is... How are we going to get the legs to move forwards? That's going to be the biggest challenge. So what I think we're going to need to do is go down the route of the motorized and free hinges, or at least something like that. Let's just put one and two for a second, and let's just make sure this moves how I think it will. Okay, so two goes that way, one goes that way, as you would expect. So that's right, that's basically how the wheel worked. So now though, because these are free hinges, what should happen, I would imagine, is if you put down some feet like this, as the, the leg rotates, these should still stay at the bottom because of their natural weight, or at least that's what I'm hoping will happen. And once again, this is not an, an original idea. Sadly, the last few ideas which have been on this channel have been very, very heavily inspired by other images I've seen online. It's definitely a game where I have been spoiled more than other games. Normally, I try to avoid things like this for this very reason. It always feels a bit cheap when it's not me coming up with the idea or my audience. But either way, I was asked to do this a long time ago. I just didn't have an idea how it would work. Let's just add a sensor for a second. Sure, that's a head or a body. Let's have it as a body, I suppose. Then lastly, let's just add a button. And that can just go there. That's a very weird way to connect that. There we go. And we want that on two. It looks like it almost works, but the problem is the gravity isn't fast enough. It kind of looks like it's doing a bizarre dance. So how would I fix that? Uh, now, one image I did see was using thrusters like this on top of the blocks. I also saw a version without the blocks. Once again, I do sort of hate it when I'm going off so much source material. Definitely going to, going to try and make something off the top of my head after this. Though saying that, all I saw was little versions, not an actual huge construct, so... No, that makes it worse. That definitely makes it worse. So how would we do... Ooh, actually... Would that... W Ooh, I'm really hoping this works. I've got a horrible feeling that it won't. So if we had two motorized hinges in addition, if I put the rotation in reverse. First of all, let's do it normally. So if I reverse this, so you became two, you became one, you became two, you became one. Would these point downwards? Would that be enough counter-rotation that it always points downwards? It looks like it might be, actually. I am a little bit surprised by that. So once again, let's put down the feet. Uh, maybe do that a little bit better next time so I don't clip into everything. That might be better, I would imagine. Okay, that is actually kind of awesome. That is actually kind of awesome. Oh, now I see why you would put the thrusters on the feet, because then it would keep the bot down. It would look better, and it would also react to where the feet are. But let's see if this actually moves us. That's the big question. Um, well, we can skip. Why wouldn't we skip, eh? We could totally make a centipede like this. Oh, we've got to. Okay, let's add some downwards thrusters. First of all, let's copy what I've seen. So, alpha 2. Uh, you go there, please. Alpha 2. Uh, once again. Uh, how about if we put these directly connected for a start? 
That's better. Although they are now actually clipping into each other. Uh, maybe the blocks aren't needed, but I quite like the blocks there. After this, I'll try and make it a bit more space. Space? Space compact. Or space. Don't drink and game, kids. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, I freaking love this game. I really do. And that was freaking, for anyone wondering what I just said. I am smiling so much right now. Oh, that is so awesome. <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh, man. Happy days. Happy days. Okay, so then. I've just realised we've we've kind of made a face. Eye, eye, hat, ear, ear, weird mouth. Uh, weapons next, I suppose. We could have it. Oh, we could try and make it so it looks like lasers are coming out of his eyes. That would be pretty cool. Maybe we should use sensors though. Otherwise, it's going to be shooting and destroying pretty much everything. Um. First of all, though, let's try to make a version of this, then, using multiple legs. I really want to see just how that works out. I've got a feeling like it should be okay, but I don't really know. So you, go there. Hopefully that's not too close. That is awesome. The only problem I can think of is this is going to be terrible at going up any sort of steep cliff. Oh, it's still awesome though. Ignore the things trying to kill me. Hello there, can I walk on you? Come on legs, you can do it. Yes, that one getting through really will help, because now the downwards thrust is on the right side. Oh, this is not working out quite as well. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Would longer legs help? It sounds a bit silly, but would longer legs actually be helpful? Because they would allow for greater strides. If we do it like this. Just to make sure this actually works. Yeah, much bigger steps now. So it will take a much steeper wall to prevent us from passing. Oh, the stability is definitely compromised though. <laughs> it looks like he's trying to sneak. <laughs> no one will see us coming. <laughs> the new dawn is today. I just realised we could really easily separate all of these and have each one as a separate drone. Definitely something for the future. Okay, let's try the planet again. Uh, I'm not sure if the random generation will always be the same until you complete the mission. I'm hoping not because otherwise, yep, we're under attack straight away. Darn it. Oh no, it is different, it is different. Oh, this is worse. Oh, this is so much worse. The stability of the longer legs is absolutely awful. Okay, nope. Little tiny legs are better. I wonder how small you could make it, actually, because that would be adorable. If I do that... Yeah, you see, it's the distance from the... Let's call it the hip. It's the distance from the main motorized hinge that causes us to have longer or shorter steps. Not so much the distance of the leg itself. So, let's see what happens if we scale back the legs. Will this still work okay? Oh god, looks, looks a bit sillier. Looks like he's doing a bit of a silly walk there, it must be admitted, but... Ah, and there's the problem, isn't it, though? We need to get the legs longer, the longer this piece is, so... That's gonna be really difficult to sort out unless we have asymmetric legs. Just trying to go for the absolute minimum size here. What's the smallest this leg will work? Okay, that works. How about one half back? I'm hoping this says yes. Yeah. Oh, I said I'm hoping this says yes. 
Good, okay. Let's remove all those. Let's go back to having just one leg. One leg? One set of legs? Excuse me, sir. Ow, you appear to be hitting me. Oh, we need way more stabilizing thrust, apparently. Oh, we're angled because the ground is angled. I mean, it looks stupid, but... Yeah, we need more stabilizing thrust. <laughs> we need more thrust than the bottom section, essentially. So let's just do a little bit extra here, shall we? There we go. It looks like a really, really weird hat. Now it looks like a, a rather weird spider. Nope, did not mean to do that. Is that still enough fuel? That's the question. Why are you being so mean? Surely you can't be threatened by this thing. Ah, that's something I did not consider. Okay, so for the balancing thrust, another thing we're going to need to do, because because this is actually a pretty big problem, is that we're going to need an equal amount of thrust as low down as possible. The reason is... Let's just get rid of you. The reason is... If we have too much thrust on the top, as you just saw, and only on the top, when it needs to rotate to the left, it's all going to go towards the left, so the entire creation will move. And vice versa, if it needs to tilt to the right, it will go a little bit bad. If we have equal amounts of thrust on the top and the bottom, it means now, when it needs to turn left, it's got two going this way, two going that way, it won't affect the speed of the creation. At least, not as much. So, one problem that keeps on occurring is honestly just the center of mass. Even when trying to fix it a moment ago, it's a little bit on the weird side. So how about... We just have the walker as a separate drone. It's something I mentioned earlier, I didn't really want to go down that route, but it does seem to make a lot more sense. So... Uh, we can use you as either the body or the head, I suppose the head would probably be best there. Although, we do also need a logic decoupler. Although, we don't actually need it if we have them on separate settings, so that's not really too much of an issue. Now, where is the sensor? There it is. Now, if I do this... Okay, good. So it does decouple as I imagined it. So let's have you as the body then. Yeah, this way, this could be absolutely tiny. In fact, let's go for as small as we can. Maybe that would be the way to do this. Would just thrusters be okay for this? It's not particularly a lot of mass. That's the only problem I can think of here. Well, it seems okay without the blocks. I was assuming that the blocks would actually help a lot in terms of actually catching on the terrain, though. So I still don't know if that's really a good thing to have. Still walks like an... well, like a very interesting fellow. So really, when you look at it, it's still working in the same way as the little land vehicle. It's just, it has less parts, which is kind of weird. It's also a lot more difficult to balance due to the amount of space needed between each object. Still think I could build smaller than this, though. Move faster, pet. March. Hmm. I wonder how much smaller we could make it. One issue that seems to occur is that if you have the hinges like this, some sort of friction occurs and then the legs just don't work as they're meant to. As you'll see, the legs are going off on their own tangents, and that also happens when this is the only vehicle here, and it's not crashing into its friend here, so... Seems like the best way to go about it is still at least like this. Just with, uh, longer legs.
messing around with a lot of design types, and honestly, this reminds me a little bit of a Colossus from StarCraft. Just having the lasers on top. So how about if we went with three legs, and here is a problem, once we start doing stuff like this, we're basically making a wheel again, because in essence, that is what we're doing, the legs are there almost solely just to be a wheel, just in a different fashion. Okay, should have saw that coming, honestly. Let's uh, move that one, one, two, one, two, one, two. Also sort of looks like a retrovirus, which is a different thing as well. And that's really unstable, so perhaps that wouldn't be the best. How about if these are a little bit closer to each other? Well, it's better. Not there yet, but better. That looks so spindly. It kind of looks like we're trying to make an alien invasion here. Okay, so nothing happens until I press that. And then I have this little auto-firing soldier, I suppose. That is actually adorable, and I absolutely love that. Go forth, my minion, and conquer the world! Um, oh, we're out of power. Okay, need more power. These two need to be swapped for solar panels. Still, I think we're onto something here. We could have just a flying drone drop these into the battle and just have them walking forwards like this forever. <laughs> I like this. And then, I can actually turn it off. Oh. And back on. And off. And on. And off. Okay, having way too much fun with that. I'll, I would just be doing that all day if it was up to me. So... How about we add one at the back here as well? Maybe change the weapons up. Or we could have it the opposite so it walks the other way. That would probably be the best, at least in terms of not hitting everything. So, flippy flippy. Flippy flippy. And all I'd need to do then, really, would just be... Change you two over. And then change you over. And same for you. And that should work. Lovely. Looks like you're a bit more tilted for some reason. Oh, we're out of fuel. Okay, that's why. We are actually out of fuel, so we weren't allowing these lovely thrusters to even activate. But yeah, as a concept, I think I've proven the concept can work. Definitely needs a bit of refinement. And I am a little bit saddened that you can't place these so close to the main motorized hinge. Although that does massively hinder their ability to step over things, it also makes them much smaller. But they seem to have friction with each other, and then as they try to turn, they slowly mess up the turning of the second hinge. There's probably a way around that, and I will be looking into that soon. I think I definitely prefer this weapon being a little bit closer to the center than that one. It actually looks like it's being held properly. If we have it like this, it's symmetrical, but it doesn't look as good, at least in my opinion. I wonder what other weapons would do better. Ooh, the flamer would be cool. Have it walk forward, burning everything in front of it. That would be rather awesome, actually. So, for you at least... Just gonna swap over your weapon and put them like this. Hmm. Actually, you two can be symmetrical and probably look okay. Oh yeah, you would need a different sensor because you're going to fire once in a while rather than constantly. See, that would be better, and that's me taking manual override. Okay, cool idea. I think, though, I do prefer the plasma launchers, but maybe instead... By plasma launcher, I meant to say EMP launcher, but still. But maybe instead... We could go with a more traditional bullet version. Do I have a bullet non-tower? That's the question.
I think the rockets would do better, but I do prefer the look of just the standard bullets. Okay, well with that, I'm afraid I am actually all out of time for today's video. This was an extra video I'm recording whilst another video is currently rendering. I was meant to be taking a break, but I saw an image of this and just had to see how it worked. So here we are. So if you have enjoyed the video, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Nimbatus is a series you wish to see continued in the future. One thing I will say is that I can't see this ever being truly useful, just like the land vehicles in comparison to the rest of the drones, but I think it's going to be a really fun thing to mess around with in the future. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.